morning now. As you can see, I'll buy the sea today. Like I said, um, I was in the woods the other day. I'm gonna do a good stretch of the uh, Cumbria coastal path. So I got the train through from Carlisle this morning to a uh, sea scale, which is we just passed through there now. A little bit wet, it's meant to, well, get the odd shower for the first four or five uh, hours of the walk. Then after that, it's meant to uh, brighten up. So I'm hoping to get from sea scale to uh, Whitehaven tonight. Uh, stopping off some tea in Whitehaven and then pass through from there really to find somewhere nice to camp. Possibly somewhere near Parton. So yeah, see how the day goes. I don't really have a plan apart from that. And all I, need, all I know is I need to be at the uh, church for rehearsal for Dan's wedding tomorrow night at half six. So like I said, nine in the morning now. Got plenty of time to do the miles. It's around about 40 miles altogether. We shall see how the day goes. One of the uh, reasons wanting to get out on this walk today was just to test the pass, uh, the pack weight for um, when do the Cumbria way in a few weeks. So it's feeling good so far. Bags are a definite improvement for what I did um, Hadrian's Wall, and that was a nightmare that bag. Um, it was packed far too heavy there. You live in there, know. But yeah, I'm mean, enjoying the path on here so far as well. It's uh, it's pretty easy to keep a decent pace up on. When I was looking at Kamut before, though, it says. Uh, the first stage, yeah, this is uh, C skill to send bees. Um, a good majority of the paths are uh, unknown ground, so <laughs> see how it gets for, uh, past Sellerfield, which I don't know if you can see is just kind of there in the distance there. Uh, not the prettiest of uh, views, but what needs to be a power plant is. These are what we're looking out for on the walk. The little National Trail logos, certainly not for lowering that put far over the uh, railway. That's a better view of the back of. Uh, the back of Sellerfield now, start looping around it in a minute. Ah, oh, there's a nice view though. You start seeing the uh, the side of the southern southern fells there. Well, southwestern. Looks beautiful. Not every day you see a sign like that. Crazy. Ah, oh, just come up past Sellerfield now. There's uh, one last view of it with the fells behind. Be a lovely view if it wasn't for all that. But yeah, it was a bit confusing coming up from down there. I ended up on a bank somewhere up here. Uh, signage could have been a bit better, but it only cost us about five minutes. So yeah, nice to see the city again. Wasn't the nicest stretch as that. It's uh, very, very industrial, uh, noisy, but there's no way around it really. But yeah, on to greener pastures now. Looking lovely. Gonna have to take the layer off soon. I'm getting pretty hot. Let's go. First sit down, needed some water, need to take some layers off, it's getting a bit warmer now. It's beautiful, it really is. Starting to clear up. The rain seems to have uh, died off at the minute. Shame it's cloudy, I should be able to see Scotland on either side. I can just faintly see bits. Not sure how it shows on the camera. So this looks like the first bit where I'm actually going to be uh, walking on the beach. Over the path down, I'm not sure, entirely sure where it goes to be honest. We'll see. So the terrain's changed a bit. I just um, walked right up the coastline, like right at the side of the uh, water. But I didn't really record much. It was all like uh, like sea view houses and stuff like that. So it was a bit a bit private for folks. Uh, I don't want to uh, disrespect their privacy. But yeah, this is a bit fun. I can make a bit of time back up on here. Walk a lot quicker. Walking on the sand and the rocks slowed me down a little bit. But yeah, it's going well, feeling good, enjoying myself, just happy to be out. This is how you know, not many have done this walk before. Where the past 10 years ago, there's not even like a desire path looking thing down out, it's just the occasional stab bit of grass. That would be some race cars, wouldn't it? 
God knows what it is. This has been the first bit of the walk I've done yet. That's actually just been on the road. First bit I've seen since I was in Seascale, which I'm not sure how far I've gone now. I'm going to say about five miles. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'd say about five miles. I'll look, have a look on the phone in a bit. Any out onwards? Carry on down here. I'll have some dinner around St. Visa. We'll have a little look down there, see where the uh, coast to coast um, marker is for the start of that. And then heading up that bank and round from there. This bit was, um, this first bit was a bit longer to do than what I have to do to do to Whitehaven. So I can sit and have a good half an hour chill or something at St. V's. It's meant to be really pretty down there. I've never been here before. But yeah, it's going well so far. It really is. It's just, uh, it's nice to get some miles under the belt again. Not really done much to start this year apart from camping. Uh, yeah, lovely. Great day for it. Just down into St. Bees now. Give you a little look. The wind's crazy up the trail. It's, uh, it's quite cool though. It's nice to see the red cliffs on the side over there. Crazy, I read the paths out on top of these cliffs. Look how bright red ones in the outside. They're not really filled, which is the same beach, sorry. Um, stop and have some dinner. Yeah, really, lunch, one well, and a bag of jerky. <laughs> but then, um, you can tell they've been uphill since then, so I'm just kind of been getting on with it. But, yeah, definitely a bit more energy about because now I've had some food. You can see, um, See the lighthouse in the distance there. I think that's uh, the beach of anything it's called. And then just on to Whitehaven from there. Definitely a lot busier around here. Well, this bit I was on was a bit well weathered. Apparently, it was uh, the first part of the uh, trail that they opened in 1985. Not recorded much in St. Pete, really. Uh, the trail's been, well, with the wind and the trail being so thin on the edge of the cliff, uh, yeah, I had to kind of concentrate where I was going a bit more than um, the wideness I've got now. This one's hurting my feet, though, I cannot lie. I think, uh, <laughs> I think this will be the last trip out with these boots. They've lasted quite well to be fair though, about a good few miles out there. But yeah, I think I'm about half an hour, 40 minutes away from the centre of Whitehaven now, so very close to full time. Ready for a pint. I have to say about being ready for a beer, I totally forgot I had uh, a couple of cans of this in my uh, bag, so I'm going to stop for one of these, let the feet rest for 10 minutes or so, and then do the final walk into uh, Whitehaven. Definitely feeling it now, like it's took about five hours to <laughs> really start feeling it. I'm still happy with my bag weight. Um, I still think the tent and the sleeping bag can be changed and lightened up. Quite fun to get myself a lunch on one. But yeah, uh, we shall see. Never mind the alcohol in the can, I think it was the sugar I needed. <laughs> Definitely perked us up a bit that. But uh, I looked on the maps, it's 35 minute walk to the pub following this trail, so yeah, let's get it. I'm going to uh, down this and not up this. If this is going to be as bad as I think it is, it needs a sign to uh, announce it.
like lost in pot, should I say. But I don't know if you can see, but what the hell is that big orange patch on the beach? It's like a rusty boat being sat there some of the years. I've never seen anything like that before. What I have spotted though is, uh, I don't know, yeah, again, if you can see it in the camera, kind of where the back of that, um, uh, back of the beaches, like just past the buildings down there. I'm going to go and try and camp somewhere down there because it looks dry, it looks accessible, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right, I've got to the spot I said I was going to camp at. Got the tent out. I'm just going to pitch it around about here. It's pretty much like there is a train track right behind that, but how many trains are going to be here this time of day, you know what I mean? So, yeah, nice flat beach. And then with that view, <laughs> what a win that makes all the miles worth it but yeah blocked off by the wind there's that block there obviously the big wall here and then even from that side there's a little bit of a little bit of a divot so get the tent up Might be gross, but my feet are not looking well. I told you, one them boots are knocking now. That's the way I get to them. I think I'm just going to chill out, finish my beers off, and um, have a good sleep off. <laughs> uh, so that'll be me till the morning, I think. So see how the night goes. If anything exciting happens, I'll bring you back. But otherwise, I'll see you then. <sighs> Morning all, bit, um, <laughs> bit on the chilly side this morning, Some frozen boots. Uh, wasn't actually too bad in the tent though. Oh, that's me all packed up and ready to go, you can't even tell I've been here. Let's say goodbye to Parton Beach and that lovely view. I'd definitely like to come back here again sometime. <laughs> right, onwards though. I've got about four, about four miles of the water left now. I'm just going to do it to work it in because I don't think I can do work it into uh, Maryport and time the trains right to get back to the uh, church on time. So here's what it is, can't be out. Um, yeah, I've not had much crack this morning to be honest. It's been uh, the most boring bit of the walk yet from um, uh, Parton to Harrington, I think it is a bit fast through. It, it's just like single track road to walk down North Stone. Um, yeah. A bit better now. Back onto the mud tracks. But it's um, definitely got a lot more industrial the further I've got this morning. This is about the quietest I've seen it yet. So I think this might be the last view of the sea we have for this uh, little adventure. I don't know if the camera can make it out, but there's also, I can see the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, the green, um, yeah, <laughs> somewhere near the other one anyway, 
So I pretty much think I follow those two ridge lines and it'll bring us back down work it inside. We've just stopped down work it in harbour. You can see in the background just over the houses there, that was the last little hill I came down. See the trig point at the top. Train station's just over there behind the wall. So I've got uh, just less than an hour till my train comes, so I'm gonna sit and enjoy the sun. <laughs> Let my feet rest a bit, then boots are done for like you know at the uh, they won't be back out again. I think I definitely will um carry this walk on at some point. All I'd have to do is get the train back to work it which takes less than an hour from home and uh just walk back to that trig point and then back down from there really. Follow the course from that way. I could do from here to Silif, I think that'd be quite nice. I'm sure from here onwards as well it gets a little bit less uh busy and industrial because like I said earlier that the, the, the walk today compared to yesterday just was nowhere near as nice I much preferred the um, the earlier parts of the walk of the day which were very much untouched paths at points um, yeah lovely walk though it just gets a bit the more the more pedestrianised it gets the more industrial it gets but yeah to be continued <laughs> 